<laughs> okay, so this is actually pretty funny and disappointing at the same time. So UVA's emergency notification system is made up of Wheeland WPS 2906s and WPS 2904s. I found out they have 2904s because when I was on the road in the car, we were at a red light and I saw one of the sirens on one of the buildings. When I got to the siren, I unpacked everything around 10.37 a.m. and took my camera out of the car. I decided to choose one camera because it was raining outside and I didn't want to get the other camera wet. I set the tripod and got the camera out. I chose an icon just for a good close-up view. At 10.40 a.m., a reminder notification was sent out reminding everyone about UVA testing their emergency notification system. Here's what it looks like. That screenshot was taken on my phone. 10 minutes later, the test warning was sent, and this is what the notification looks like. That was also a screenshot taken on my phone. UVA does high-low and air horn. High-low is for emergencies, and air horn is for all clear. But during the test, the 2906 that you saw a few seconds ago never went off for high-low. It went off for air horn, though, but not high-low. If we go into the video a little bit, you can barely hear the 2904 read the UVA test message. This is what the actual UVA test message sounds like. This is a test of the UVA emergency notification system. This is only a test. After the message, the system is supposed to do high-low, but the 2906 didn't. All it did was do the all-clear horn. It was supposed to do the high-low tone, therefore, the test was kind of a fail. UVA needs to check the siren and kind of maintain this one. Also, I was in the car being the scaredy cat because I was scared the siren was going to surprise me. Well, like I said, the 2904 went off and, I did, and it also did high-low, and not the 2906. This kind of surprised me because I didn't expect it to just do the air horn only. The all-clear was sent at 11 a.m., along with the sirens going off for air horn. I quickly pulled out my phone, and the 2906 went off for air horn. I missed the message at the beginning and partially the air horn. I managed to get five out of six air horn blasts, but the good news is I got the message at the end. I was constantly waving my fists at the siren because of how disappointed I was when it didn't go off for high-low. Also not to mention, I did somewhat see a bright flash in one of the speakers, probably around 10.45 a.m., and that kind of got me a little shaky because I didn't know if it was going to go off on me. It may have been a short circuit on one of the drivers, which may have caused the siren to deactivate and reactivate when the first DTMF headers were sent, which was the high-low mode. And that was probably very unlikely. So, enough chatter. Let's get into the video. Enjoy. Emergency notification system. You idiot! You did go off! It failed! 
it failed to do the high low it failed to do the high low thank you for watching this video honestly i hope this never happens again the next time i go see charlottesville test um because basically it almost it almost was basically a wasted trip, and that is what I hate doing. So, make sure you click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and comment. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.